Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. Today I'll be doing a start to finish lace wig installation and styling for you guys sitting on my channel. Now today's hair is provided by Delago Hair and this is their 13 by 6 um, deep curly lace front wig and the density is 250 so it is very very full. Um, I love this wig, especially the hairline. I did not have to do any plucking whatsoever. All I did was bleach the knots and begin to install this wig on my client today. So, um, I hope you guys stay tuned to this video. Um, this video will be very detailed and as, you know, as requested, you guys wanted longer videos. So, I'm bringing you a full 25-minute tutorial today. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and stay tuned. Now, as you see, when I started this tutorial, um, her hair was already braided down, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do my ball cap methods and then begin the installation. Now, as you notice, um, I put the cap onto her head and I had her stretch that cap out. And stretching the cap out makes it easier for you to really get that nice bald cap effect because you are stretching the cap out um, to be as thin as possible um, as it can be, which is better for when you need to really melt the cap in um, after a uh, well before applying your foundation. And once um, that I blow dry that uh, bed head on that cap, I'm just going to go ahead and sew um, the cap on the back of her braids all around that way her cap does not lift up so um, you really want to do this step so your client can still have the cap on the head underneath the wig without it rising up to the top and everything like that so I'm just going to go ahead and sew that down and once I do that I will go in with my Ruby Kisses foundation and apply her foundation color all over um, that cap or well, the front of that cap now, as far as the Ruby, uh, Ruby Kisses foundation, I am using 11, um, level 16. I did do a combination of both shades on there. And I'm just, you know, brushing that really in nice and good. And then I'm just going to take my alcohol and rag and just clean up any makeup that got onto the skin. But here is that uh, deep curly 13 by 6 uh, lace front wig. Um, it does come with a few combs on the inside. Um, I'm just going to keep the combs in and cut off that back lace because you know the combs didn't really bother me or needed to be taken out like some wigs the combs come kind of in the way of where you need to lay the lace but i did not have that issue with this wig today and as i mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial i did not pluck this wig whatsoever so this is a very um easy and begin uh beginner friendly uh, wig to purchase simply because all you have to do is just bleach the knots and you can install glueless or uh, gluelessly you know whichever one is your preference and still achieve really pretty and natural results but now i'm going to go ahead um and apply that found that same foundation color on top and underneath that lace um after uh putting the wig onto the head and lining it up with her natural hairline and um i am going to use every product that i will be launching january 1st so make sure you guys get ready to purchase your lace metal piece of your melt belts and also your glam wax stick to achieve the best styling results for your lace installments now first things first i will go in with my lace melt adhesive and this is from my brand the beautiful hustler brand and as i mentioned it will release on january 1st so get ready to purchase your lace glue um, subby so first things first um i applied the layer of glue and now i'm just taking my comb and spreading that glue out now the key to working with my glue is just really spread it out as flat as possible and apply a nice um wide coat like a thin but wide coat of the glue and um you want to apply at least three to five layers of this glue um for her head i did use four layers so i went right into the middle and i applied each of those layers wide but thin 
and now I'm just taking that lace and pulling that lace down into that glue and you want to really take your time and all um, eyeball where the lace glue ends that way you don't have lace glue outside of your um, um, your lace wig or your frontal or closure you want to line it right on top of that glue so the hair absorbs all of that glue well the lace absorbs all of that glue and once you get that uh, lace right in place just go ahead and take your blow dryer um, and I am using the heat setting and I'm just going to comb that lace down into that glue I'm combing that hair backwards combing that, uh, combing that hair downwards just to really get that um, lace melted into that glue really really well um, and I'm going to do that for a few minutes before I begin to cut off the extra lace and then I will um, you know actually cut my lace off today using the razor method um, in my more recent tutorials that you guys will see that I'm releasing this week as well I will be using mostly the eyebrow razor instead of the scissors to just really get those uh, most natural results even though you can do the same thing with the scissors, um, just in my opinion, the razor tends to be a little bit more better. So now I'm just going to go in with them scissors and just kind of pre-slit um, that lace so I can easily razor it off. But when you are razoring off the extra lace, be very, very careful and make sure you do not um, slice your client's um, skin. And um, I'm just going to pretend to use that eyebrow razor and just razor that hair down. And um just follow the natural pattern of the person's hairline when you are raising off the extra lace that way the lace will not be too far down and as you see in the beginning of this tutorial her hairline is already um kind of low so you want to get it as you know as close to the hairline as possible so i'm just going to continue to pull um any lace i feel don't need to be there um that way her lace will not look far down but um you know still cut off you know the lace that is needed to be cut and as you can see um i've cut one side and now i'm just going to take my lace mill adhesive and just you know apply the glue anywhere else that is you know lifting and there is barely anything left that's lifting to be honest so um that is a really really good sign um for those of you you know who want to know how like my glue actually works and um stay tuned guys because i'm actually thinking about doing a sale uh, for the first few people who purchase my product probably like a little special coupon code um and everything like that so make sure you guys stay tuned for that i will drop that code down in my community section um where i just do my regular posts so stay tuned for that because you do not want to miss out but uh, moreover, I am taking uh, my lace melt adhesive and just applying it in those little areas that's lifting. And it was really probably one or two areas. But as you can see, this lace is completely melted into her skin already, looking very, very natural and very much like what lace type of tees. You know what I'm saying, y'all? So, um, yeah, I'm really excited uh, for you guys to try out my glue and let me know what you think about it. Um, how can I improve it? If you think there needs to be improvements or how to use it properly, like let me know. But I did go very detailed with the directions on the back of the uh, glue container. So you guys should be able to, you know, get it pretty easily. But now I'm just going to go ahead and begin to cut the lace off on the other side. Just using the same method uh, with the razor and just tacking down anything else that is still lifting. And uh, once I do that, I will get into my second step melting process um, with the uh, holding spray and using my Beautiful Hustler Melt Belt, which will also relaunch on January 1st. I had it posted before, but because I'm going for a new look for my melt belt um, and everything like that, I just wanted to wait to relaunch on January 1st with my Glam Wax Stick and my Lace um, Melt Adhesive as well. That way you can get all three at once and i also will have bundle deals so guys don't worry you will not have to buy everything separately i will do a bundle deal as well so um as i mentioned once i get it go ahead and get all of that um you know laid and melted in i'm just going to go ahead and part off a section from left to right where my baby hairs will be and then go in with that bed head um hair styling spray uh put that hair in a ponytail spray it from ear to ear and then secure with my beautiful hustler melt belt. 
Okay guys, so I have to correct myself. I thought I used the bed head um, holding spray today, but I actually used my Tresemme. Now, if you've been tuned to my channel, you know um, that this is one of my new little goodies that I picked up and I really wanted to try out. And I absolutely, absolutely love this Tresemme um, as far as using it for my second step molding process. Now, um, what I love most about this um, holding spray, it does not flake whatsoever. So once I um, let that Tresemme uh, holding spray dry completely and I remove it and I comb out the baby hairs, it does not flake. Um, the Bio Silk does give you a little flaking and sometimes with the bed head as well, if you use too, too much, it can give you flaking. But with this Tresemme, I have not seen any flaking whatsoever once I had combed out um, the hairline from the holding spray. So that is a great benefit. Um, major benefit and also it gives you a great hold as well so um, another thing I did before applying that melt bath is I sprayed that holding spray and just combed it back um, a, like combed the hair back that's away from the hairline just to make it you know nice neat and natural and also give it that pushback but as far as securing the back of the lace I am going to sew um, through the lace but I'm sewing these tracks on that bottom braid just to make the wig nice and secure that way it does not um, you know flip forward I'm um, usually with lace front wigs most people just ask me to sew down the back it's rare that anybody actually asks me to glue it so I don't but I will show you guys a t uh, you know a detailed tutorial on gluing the back but here goes the super super melt that you get when you use two combination of my products which is that lace melt adhesive and my uh, melt belt my um lace melt ultimate melt belt it gives you these great great melted flawless results like i said guys i am so super super excited for you to try this out and as i mentioned with that tresemme you get no flaking so as you see as i'm combing um the those um you know that section out that will be for baby hairs i'm not getting any flaking of uh, whatsoever and the hair just goes back completely soft after combing um all of that out so <laughs> Yes, honey, it is slay time. Now for this install, we'll be doing a lot of baby hairs. And I will also be introducing you uh, my wax thickness tutorial and my new method of creating um, soft looking hold, like firm hold baby hairs. So I'm ready to show you that guys, you know, as well. But right now I'm taking my Glam Wax, will also, which will also release on January 1st. And I just applied it all over the front of that lace because you guys know before I hot comb the roots of my wigs, I do use um, that wax stick to really get it nice, like silky looking and soft looking. And um, right now I'm just going to go ahead and do my C curved parts. I didn't want to do just a straight back part. I really wanted a C curve. So I'm just going, you know, going ahead and creating that perfect C look. And also because how I wanted the baby hairs to fall, I decided to do this, um, you know, curved part as well. And I'm just going to go back in with my glam wax stick and apply it on the top of my wig as well before I begin to hot comb everything on out and then, you know, get into doing my actual baby hairs. So I'm just going to continue to, you know, hot comb out those roots. But I did uh, do something which I want to call the tug test. And this is my lace melt tug test just to show you guys how strong this hold is. I am tugging and pulling on this lace in different directions and it has not lifting. And by how high I'm pulling it, you can tell it is really secure. So when you guys do purchase my adhesive and you get your laces um, all dried and melted in, just go ahead and... Um, hashtag t uh, tug test and hashtag uh, lace no adhesive hashtag beautiful hustler tag me on Instagram or any social sites you have me on so I can repost and share 
um and right after you do that um you know show me some results of you using the wax stick like whether you're pressing out some leave out or just laying your wigs down from the roots just use that glam wax and you know hashtag glam wax beautiful hustler i'm beautiful hustler tv um tag me as well so i can repost but um furthermore i am just going to continue to hot comb out those roots and everything and then i'm going to get into cutting the baby hairs now i did pull out a little bit more hair for the baby hairs because i didn't want them to be um you know pretty full and i wanted a lot of swooping and everything going on um so as i mentioned i do have a new technique of me doing my baby hairs so first things first i am just going to raise it down all of that hair and then I'm going to actually use holding spray and my wax stick to create some baby hairs. Um, I did, um, well, I'm not sure if I used the glam wax in this tutorial. Maybe it was another tutorial that I have coming that I used it in. But I know I am using that um, holding spray for sure to create my baby hairs. Now, first things first, um, like I mentioned, I went ahead and cut everything down short. So I'm just going to razor all of that down and next I'm going to take my bed head um, holding spray and I'm going to spray that whole hairline with that holding spray before I begin to go in with my edge brush and swoop everything. Now the difference with using this method, first of all, um, it's non-greasy. So any like greasy look that you may get from edge controls or styling gel and everything like that, it does not give you that wet look. It gives you that dry, crisp, and you know, those clean looking baby hairs. And it was actually really easy to swoop um, these baby hairs using a holding spray because one, like I said, it doesn't give you that greasy look. Two is holding spray, so the hold that you get from your baby hairs will be like super duper A1, and you will not have any lifting issues of your lace um, when doing this method like this as well. So I'm just gonna to continue to use that holding spray. You can spray the holding spray directly on the baby hairs and then take your edge brush and swoop it. But if you feel like you don't wanna keep spraying the lace, I just take that holding spray and spray it directly on the teeth of my comb or the, on the teeth of my um my edge brush and just swoop and comb it in and blow dry it as i go along but for most part uh, for the most part the baby hair is kind of dry on its own um because it's not like wet or greasy or anything like that so i'm just going to show you guys you know a little in detail exactly what i'm doing as far as this new method um, of doing the baby hairs with the holding spray only and I will just show you a little bit on the other side as well but as I mentioned I just showed you again how I just sprayed the holding spray directly onto the teeth of my edge brush and I just did my combing and swooping um, with that
So now that I am done creating those baby hairs, I'm just going to smooth um, the top of my wig out using a little more holding spray blow drying on heat just to make everything nice flat and smooth and then I'm gonna go in with my Nerubi's um, mousse and comb like apply that mousse all over the curls add a little bit of water and just get those curls popping 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 um, you can do the wild look if you prefer or you can do the wet look it's just really your preference but before I get into wetting all of the hair and mousse in it I'm just taking my um, foundation palette the same one i use for her lace and just concealing up that part giving it that nice perfect c look clean parting look and then i will go ahead and proceed with um you know getting the mousse so right now i'm just picking up my mousse from my bottom shelf and i'm just going to apply that Nairobi's foam all onto that hair all around and i'm going to finger and brush those curls in i will also go in with water as well just to make it more uh, saturated with wetness and then i will just brush through those curls to really get that mousse in there and popping so i'm taking like that what they call quote unquote the white girl brush or the like um the i can't even think of the name guys but you guys know what brush i'm talking about the one with the wide teeth and you use it to brush out the hair and everything like that and i'm just going in with some water now just plain water and just adding the water into you know um onto the hair to get really like wet and i'm just gonna go back in with more mousse and just detangle uh those curls out i didn't really get any shedding or naps from this wig so that is a good thing as well and i just absolutely love the curl pattern of this wig and as you know this wig is 250 density so it's very 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 full um as far as the length of this wig i'm not sure if it's a 20 or a 22 but it's somewhere around in that family um, just try the description box down below to get the exact uh, length of this wig and once I finish you know Getting these curls popping. Um, this will pretty much sum up this tutorial and of course I will drop a video of the finishing look So once again, uh, if you are new to my channel, just click that subscribe button now because for 2020 I am doing longer videos more detailed more start to finish and all of that um video so you guys can really really learn and grasp all the techniques um that i want to show you so yeah big things are coming don't forget to purchase all of my products january 1st i will have a product um like bundle deals and everything like that i will share a coupon code for those who purchase my products so get ready get ready get ready 2020 we're going to be doing big things but I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, stay tuned for more because I will be dropping more and more videos regularly. So thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys next time.